It's a sloth on the Space Needle. Hey internet and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mark and uh, I do a bunch of things, but today I am reviewing the Boeing or Boeing, we'll say Boeing smartwatch. I'm not affiliated with the company in any official regard. They did send me this product for free and I've had it since just about the end of February. So I've, uh, I've gotten quite a lot of use out of it. Now, just to go ahead and bring things up front real quick. So if you're looking to get this watch, you can know if it's a make or break. If you're in the market for a new smartwatch, the Boeing smartwatch is pretty much what you're paying for and even a little more. It connects to your smartphone super easily and it's very modifiable to your own, like, a aesthetic choices and whatnot. The app is nothing special. It's a pretty standard app. I've seen many like it at this point. It is very useful. The app provides good metrics and honestly, you don't even need to use the app a lot. The watch itself can be entirely self-contained. Speaking of the watch, it's really comfortable. Uh, I've worn it every single day for the past month and I've used it very consistently. It's sleek. It's not too bulky or anything and the battery life is fantastic. It's just as advertised. So for the average person, if you're looking for a smartwatch and you don't want to come close close to breaking the bank, I would really recommend this smartwatch. If you're someone who wants really in-depth metrics and a community to keep you accountable, then you might want to keep looking. Anyway, that's kind of like the brief summary. So if that's good enough for you, thanks for stopping by. If you want to know more, keep watching. I've been in the, the market for a new smartwatch for quite a while now. Uh, an old one that was passed down to me had a terrible battery life. And I definitely wasn't wanting to drop a few hundred dollars on a really nice watch who had a ton of features and I wouldn't use 90% of them. I'm an average guy, I work out pretty consistently, but I don't get too far into the metrics. We'll speak about the metrics, the app, and uh, like a, like when I went on a run and how the watch performed on that run. But let's start out with the, the physical appearance and build of the watch itself. As you can see, uh, it's honestly really comfortable. It's not like you notice it while you're wearing it. The strap isn't too rough or anything. The circular face is super nice and standard. It's sleek. It's hard to smudge it. I just thought about that. I haven't smudged it. It's effectively the exact size and like appearance I was looking for in a smartwatch. I didn't want the rounded square face or anything. The two buttons on the right side are super minimal. You don't have to do any complex setup. The watch is touchscreen, uh, which allows those buttons to be super simple. I've never had like interactivity issues when swiping on the watch face. The battery is as advertised and excellent. It goes about 10 days with 25 to 50% brightness. I've varied it. Some stats. With a slow charging port, it went from 0% to 100% after about two and a bit hours. Lasted about nine or 10 days and then just under two hours with a faster charging port. So the cable it comes with is a unique one. Would be hard pressed to find a replacement. It's not USB-C or micro USB or anything. So you'd want to charge it while you're working or while you're making dinner or something. The watch face, you can customize it. They have a ton of options. I'm gonna throw a bunch of images up of when I was messing around with the different watch faces. Super fun to mess around with. I found one that I really liked. And you can also make your own. It's really limited, but it's still a really cool, nice aesthetic touch. I know when you look down at your watch, you don't wanna be overloaded with too much. Some people might like having everything on there, but I like to keep it simple. The time, the date, and the step count. That, that works for me. And one swipe to the left, and I have my steps, heart rate, and how much I've walked today. And taking it out of the box was, I don't know, you, you can't really complicate the process, but it worked out of the box. Connection was super easy. Okay, so let's talk about the metrics. Now the watch is effectively what I'm considering self-contained. In other words, as I'll talk about more later, I went on a run and didn't use the app at all, but you can also use the app. You don't have to open the app and sync up to see your stats. You can see them on the watch face itself, your sleep graph, your heart rate, etc. If you're super serious about metrics, like heart rate, recovery period, whatever, this isn't the watch for you. You know, if you're training for a marathon, you might wanna go with Garmin or something else. Again, I just like the standard metrics. Even now with the watch, I'm still someone who says, oh, Google Maps is 3.2 miles and I ran that in 28 minutes. Well, 28 divided by three is just above nine, so nine minute mile. If you're really big on community, uh, other people doing the same thing, well, you might wanna to go to Fitbit or something where they have a super active community page. I'm using the app without making an account and it's still fully functional. And I have been able to share my running progress with some friends, which you can do super easily from the app. They have actually some pretty cool options for what you can show. So if you have your own community on Discord or you text your sister your run, the app makes it really easy to export things. One thing I did want to note is that the self-contained metrics of the watch are pretty off. And I did notice this with an old Fitbit watch as well. It must not use GPS to calculate. I know Garmin does. That's 
literally their brand. But anyway, the watch said like 2.6 miles or so. I'll have screenshots up on screen to clarify, but the run itself was 3.2 miles according to Google Maps. However, when I used the app, the app reported it specifically. And in fact, the app reported some really cool statistics. And lastly, the heart rate monitoring is efficiently 24 <laughs> seven. And the sleep tracker, uh, it looks really accurate. I don't know how to test the accuracy. I get the same sense of, oh, that looks right as I did when I used Fitbit. I don't know how they calculate that. It's, you know, something. The statistics are very accurate. When I run, I notice my heart rate go up. When I go to sleep, I can check the graph on the watch and I can see my evolution over time in the app. And speaking of, let's jump into the app. So the app is called Glory Fit. Um, as you see, there's a small splash screen, but you never see it for long. Let's go ahead and sync up. Now the app is run of the mill. I've seen like this exact layout before and the icons on the watch, as you can see here, are also very generic. It's almost like there's like some SDK that people can just download and then change a bit, but the hardware for the watch is worth it. So you've got a bunch of, I'm not gonna go into all the settings, but you can set your alarms here. Uh, sedentary reminders, like get up and move. App settings, heart rate settings, you can have it alert you and stuff. Watch faces, this is where you change all the faces, but there's a lot of those and it's really fun to mess around with as I mentioned earlier. On your home, you have a quick view, 4200, it's pretty epic, pretty nice. You can see I slept six hours just above last night. I see my heart rate is for some reason 114. I'm probably because I'm doing this, so maybe my heart rate's a little up. Blood oxygen 97, great. You can start your, your run, your outdoor, whatever you want from here. Uh, and then there's like a profile, but I didn't mess too much with that. There is a training thing, so you can set your steps, you can set your goal. One thing that I do wanna mention though is SMS. You can get texts and they do show up very well. When your goal triggers, by the way, it shows up on your watch, as you can see on the screenshot here. If you go to app, you can get notifications for all these different apps. I despise notifications for more reasons than one. So uh, I've disabled all of them, but just know that those are the apps you can use and integrate with the watch. Again, it reports accurate metrics. Uh, the watch's hardware is in my opinion, really good. And it's comfortable. The The thing is with more notable brands, Garmin, Fitbit, Whoop, whatever, what you're paying for is largely the app. The premium comes with how in-depth the app is, community, statistics, badges, all that stuff. With this app, you don't quite get that. If you're training for a marathon or have a big group of friends who all have one brand of a watch, you're probably going to want that brand as well. That's just a general rule of society, if you will. So with this, you don't get that app, but if you're a person like me and you don't wanna shell out a few hundred dollars for a super nice watch, just so you can have some average metrics, this watch is honestly fantastic. That's effectively the entire review. The start of the video had a summary, which I think still stands true. And I hope the rest of my <clears throat> reportings here deliver. The Boeing smartwatch is pretty much exactly what the Amazon reviews say. And they say five stars because it's exactly what you're paying for. And I'd even argue you're getting a little more out of it, especially when it comes to the hardware. After seeing a typo in the box, my expectations kind of lowered all of a sudden, but those quickly rose again as I've been wearing it daily and will continue to do so for a while. I haven't had to charge the watch every night. I can go swim with it. I can take a shower with it. I can use it to track my sleep metrics if I choose to care about those one day. And it gives me metrics that for me are more than good enough. And it does that all while not breaking the bank. There is a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. It's just an affiliate link on Amazon. Again, I'm not affiliated with Boeing, but thank you to them for sending me this watch. It found me at a perfect time. If you do end up using it, or if you have one of your own, or you have some of your own tech, you think I might wanna check out as the person I am, I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like on your way out. Maybe check out some of these videos over here if you're into tech stuff. And other than that, I will see you in the next one. So have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay Awesome, see you next week.